Él es el Brana. Yo no. Yo no. Yo no. Yo no. Alejandro Ramírez. Nice to meet you. Antonio del Valle. Eugene Madero. Shalom. Yo no. 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 Mr. Prime Minister, it's a pleasure. My name is Frederick Garcia. From Mexico. Thank you. Welcome to Mexico. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First, I'm delighted to be here. Uh, this is my first, the first visit of an Israeli Prime Minister in uh, Latin America. Quite unbelievable. But it took seven years for the first official visit of an Israeli prime minister in any country uh, south of the United States. I think it's been uh, long overdue. I began my visit in Argentina, uh, uh, stopped over in uh, Colombia, and now I'm in Mexico. I feel like, in a, you know, the Israeli backtrackers, uh, backpackers, they finish the army, and then they come to South America, and they go from country to country. They walk it. So uh, we haven't been walking it. We've been flying it, but yesterday I started the day in Argentina, uh, went through uh, Bogota, and uh, went to sleep in uh, Mexico City. So uh, I'm eager for the trek. I tend to come next time for four days and cover all the country. But this is uh, an expression of the interest we have, the belief we have, the confidence we have, and the great potential of uh, uh, Latin America, and of Mexico specifically, which will move uh, to be one of the uh, top 10 or even top 7 economies in the world in a matter of uh, a little time. Now, there are two things that I uh, would like to bring to this table. Uh, the first is that uh, I will speak a lot about technology, and technology is immensely powerful in changing uh, just about every one of the businesses that are represented around this table, uh, and it is seeping or flooding even, if I can use this word today, uh, flooding every area of human endeavor. Uh, it may take longer in some areas, shorter in other areas, but the, I believe that the distinction between high-tech and low-tech is rapidly disappearing. Again, there may be some areas that will be immune to it, but most will not be. And the, and the competitive advantage will be to those who are able to bring technology into what are seen as otherwise untechnologized businesses. This is a, a big discussion that I have with my uh, chief economic advisor here, Professor Simchon. I, I see this. I see uh, wealth created in very rapidly, sometimes geometrically, uh, in areas where technology comes in. For example, I give auto parts or vehicles. Uh, until very recently, we had no uh, no uh, vehicle uh, industry, no car industry, but we have one now. And uh, it is uh, being, it's receiving billions of dollars of investment each year for 500 companies that deal with anything from autonomous vehicles or uh, 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 crowdsourcing for uh, Waze, uh, that we, it was an Israeli company, or Mobileye for uh, uh, using AI basically for uh, safer uh, travel. So I, I think these industries are being created one after the other, and they produce enormous value. Cyber is another example, cybersecurity, which is exploding in Israel. And we now have 20% uh, of the global cyber investment in the private, uh, private global uh, investment in uh, cybersecurity. So that's 200 times the size of our population. It's creating enormous value. But I think that this will be transferred into other areas. You mentioned agriculture. We have drones, and we have now the imaging of uh, fields, and we can uh, uh, utilize this big data and artificial intelligence and connectivity to have uh, precision-guided fertilization of a plant, of a plant. Not plants, a plant. Same thing with water. And this makes uh, the productivity of agriculture fly through the roof. I think that every area today is being technologized, every area. And therefore, I think that Israel is, uh, should be an, a source of interest to all of you because of the uh, possibility that you could 
use Israel for uh, improving your own businesses in ways that may not be obvious uh, for the moment. But if you invest in it a bit, I think that uh, you will profit by it, and we will profit by it, obviously. Uh, secondly, I want to encourage Israeli firms to come here in Mexico with technology and with business. Uh, and there are about 150 firms here today. I'd like that number to double. And I think that the carriers of, uh, uh, of uh, progress are the private companies, uh, much more so than the governments. But I do want to say one other thing. In other words, I'm saying we're at a technological crossroads. Those who seize technology will seize the future, both as countries and as firms. The second point, which is uh, the one that I can speak uh, about our endeavors uh, as a government, is that we want to give uh, business firms the maximum freedom to do what I just said. And therefore, the complement to the uh, innovation uh, nation is the uh, market-friendly nation. And we have made a lot of reforms in Israel. I myself were, uh, was involved in it in, in a major way, uh, both as finance minister and as prime minister, to give firms the ability to compete, to make money, to lose money, to try again and succeed, because most of the value added in an economy comes from the private sector. So our policy in Israel is twofold. One, encourage innovation. Second, encourage market-friendly policies. It's the combination of the two that has leapfrogged Israel into being one of the advanced countries uh, in the, uh, today in the world, one of the advanced economies. I think there is a, a great opportunity that has not yet been realized, even in, the, uh, in a minor way, for cooperation between Israeli companies and Mexican companies. I encourage you. Uh, to come to Israel. If you haven't done it, you should. If you've done it, come again. Uh, and I would like to have this meeting in Tel Aviv or Jerusalem around a round table uh, with Israeli, your Israeli counterparts. We've just done that with uh, India. And we're doing it with others. It's been immensely, immensely productive. So I would say uh, we have a, a saying next year in Jerusalem. Uh, I would like it to be this year, but we're close to the end of the year. I'll end with this next year in Jerusalem, and thank you for coming here this morning. Thank you very much.